Ryan, I haven't talked to you in a while. First I of know, all, it's good. It's nice to see you. You look well. Thank you. You know, things are happening. <laughs> I've been watching for the past two weeks. Um, did you ever think, I know you posted about this, that you would ever pull out that old school test <laughs> and start using that and saying, here we go. No, I had no idea. It's actually three feet from me in this very room. I'm looking at it now. I, I it was, it was in my basement and it was going to be, uh, a fun bar or something I was going to build one day and just have it as a, as a great memory. But, uh, in this moment it came in very handy and the light still works. So that's a good thing. It was made well. That's a positive. Um, watching all the contestants, obviously this was a hard week. We had to cut it down in half for yeah. the judges. Um, my Filipino friend, we're not friends, but in my mind we are, Francisco made Katie cry. She had to keep her head down at one point. When you see things like that coming from what you've already seen, being an OG to American yeah. Idol, how does that make you feel? Do you know, specifically Francisco and many of the other contestants, they are so authentic and so sincere. They're, they're humble, they're sincere, they're real. You can see that. And I think we're all impacted by that kind of emotion. He is a, an incredibly talented young man. And I don't think he even realizes it himself, but you're seeing him grow into that. And when he sings, it is magical. And knowing what you've seen already, I'll, I'll list a couple names. I mean, Carrie Underwood, Jennifer mm -hmm. Hudson, Kelly Clarkson, you've been there for all of them and many, many more. Um, is there one story that stands out to you? I, listen, Kelly and I have talked about this many times since, but the first season we ever did this and we stood there at the Kodak Theater on the stage before we knew what American Idol was gonna become in music culture and in television culture, that is probably the greatest moment in memory of, of all time for me because it was so new. I had no idea what I was doing. I was scared to death as the host of a live show, but you look at what we did then and all the stars we've been able to generate from that point on. And it truly is, it's a, it's a really best in class singing show. Um, listen, you haven't made it if you haven't been a meme. You've been turned into a meme, you've had tears. Oh, have I? I'm sure, <laughs> yeah, I, which one? <laughs> right, which one? Yeah. Um, the Ryan Seacrest that has been there from Jump that your family knows very well and loves you so much. Knowing what Ryan has been through yourself since the very beginning of Idol to where you are now, how has Idol really transformed you and made you who you are today? Well, it, it's given me the opportunity to do all the other things that I get to do in my professional uh, career and my professional life but it's also inspiring to me. I can't do any of the things that these contestants can do. So I love to see young artists from all over the country who are working a normal job, who get a chance to get a big break, and then to stand there, well, stand there, used to stand there beside them, but now sit and watch them on a screen and see that raw emotion, that, 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 that self-confidence that they build and that excitement that they have for themselves that they're making it is always, to me, the most special part about being the host of it year after year. I know you gotta get out of here. One last thing, what's your go-to karaoke song? I'm more of a rapper. So I, I, I rap a little young, young MC. That's, that's kind of mine. Um, we'll be doing the Disney sing-along and I can't sing along to any of those, but families across America can definitely do that.